Welcome, in front of me is a Techno Spark Go from 2024, and today I will show you how you can enable and set up your Do Not Disturb mode. Now, to get started, you will want to pull down your toggles by swiping down from a top right side of the screen, so right here where I'm kind of like showing, like so, and then look at the toggle. So, let's see if it's visible anywhere here. Hmm. It looks like it's not added by default, so we will need to do that ourselves. Click right here on these three dots, which are very hard to see for some reason on the camera, and then select Edit uh, Shortcut Switch, and you can see there is our Do Not Disturb toggle. Click on the plus next to it, and this will add the tile to our toggles right here. So once you have it added, hold it again, and this will take you to the settings, and in here, you can customize how the mode will function once enabled. Uh, we do have things like schedule, so in here you can set up a fully automatic schedule, meaning it will turn the Do Not Disturb mode on and off at a provided day of the week. And additionally, uh, for people that will use this manually, you have the duration for quick settings, and here you can define what will happen when you manually toggle it on. I personally like to select it on a timer and make it something like 4 hours. Um, I find 4 hours to be basically long enough to cover whatever I will need it for plus a little bit of time extra. Um, if I forget about it, you know, I want to cover whatever I will need for it. Um, so I give it some extra time just in case. Um, and with that enabled like so, if I confirm that, whenever I toggle on the Do Not Disturb mode, which I can do right now. So let's find the toggle, tap on it, and it's right now enabled. It will run for, at least the way it's set up right now, four hours. After four hours, it will turn on on its own. So I don't need to remember about it and I have the uh, peace of mind that I can just forget about it and it will disable itself off after a certain time. Otherwise, it will be running indefinitely and doing uh, whatever it is set to do. Now, obviously I can also turn off the toggle before the timer runs out, assuming I remembered about it. So, click on it again and you're good to go. It's now off. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.